To this point, we fulfilled the agency's first requirement relative to customers entering their reservations. Another requirement relates to notifying the agency's employees, through emails, about the need to contact airlines to inform about the pending task. Since customers enter their own reservations through the web, this is an important aspect because reservations could be made beyond office hours and the agency's employees must be informed in order to advance the reservations process by calling the airlines. In order for an email message to be sent upon the creation of the instances in the contact airlines task, we must go to its properties and select True in the Send Email property. Note that we could also define a template for the email with the property Email Notification Template. For the workflow engine to forward the message, we must define the mail server that will be used. We do that in the Workflow Client in the Settings window under Server Main Notifications. We can see that there are several options available. In the server field, we will set the IP or DNS value of the SMTP server that we will use to send the emails, and an email address and name that we will use for the sender. With these settings, the workflow engine will automatically send an email to all the users with permits for the contact airlines task. The last change requested by the agency is that the task notifying customers regarding their successful reservation is to be made personally instead of having the system do it automatically. To achieve this, we change the type of the notify customer of authorization task from the batch type to the user type and associate it to the notify authorization web panel as we map relevant data reservation ID. We will now see the changes we made to the diagram in runtime. First, we open a browser window and paste the URL of the workflow client. We can see that the workflow client is executed and the input tray is empty. To execute the screen that the customer uses to enter the data of a reservation, we go to the travel agency web panel, right click on it, and then press run. We can see that the screen is open for us to enter a ticket reservation. In the upper right, we can see that the user logged in as John Parker. We enter today's date, 1 as the number of passengers, and the departure airport, that is Carrasco, in Montevideo, Uruguay, and the destination airport being Guarulhos in Sao Paulo, Brazil. We now press the confirm button. Now let's go to the other window in the browser where we have the workflow client and press the refresh button. The input tray shows us the instances of the contact airline task as pending execution. This means that an instance of the flight ticket reservation process was created and the ticket reservation task was marked as completed as we expected according to the programming we did on the travel agency web panel through which the customer entered his own reservation. Now let's execute the tasks that relate to contacting airlines and then go on with the process until we end up with an authorized reservation. We should note that after finalizing the last task in the validate reservation subprocess, the flow returns to the main process, flight ticket reservation, and the notify customer of authorization task is pending execution. We can also see that the subject of the process is the one we assigned previously. It indicates that this time the process was started from a Genexus object. Now let's execute the Notify Customer of Authorization task. We will see that the screen of web panel Notify Authorization opens up with an interactive message informing that the reservation has been authorized. We now press Confirm and Send to finish the task and we will see that this ends the air ticket reservation process. In the next video, we will see how we can make different branches of the agency execute the same ticket reservation process, but with the tasks of one branch not being executable by staff from a different branch.